Well, for days, Brooke, we have been waiting to learn the fate of the political deadlock here. Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki, in the eyes of Washington, in the eyes of so many, the man whose sectarian divisiveness between the Sunni and Shia groups that in many ways represent the divide in this country, has led to the opportunity for ISIS to storm through the north. Many wanted to see him go. For the past few days, it seemed impossible that he could stay in his post. And now, minutes ahead of a supposed speech by him on state TV, we're seeing a banner on state television saying that he has decided to step down from his post in favor of the man that Washington, nearly everybody sees as the next prime minister mm. of Iraq, a man called Haider al-Abadi. So a huge political development here, Brooke, one that potentially clears away this uh, deadlock that's been uh, causing so much trouble for weeks, stopping an increase in aid to the Iraqi military. Many hope that the new prime minister, al-Abadi, still got a job to do to get his cabinet together, but they hope that that potentially will bring enough unity to the political political environment here, the people want to work together to try and fight ISIS who are so fast on the march in the north of this country. Brooke.